Hi, I'm Katie from katiescasino.com and today I'm here in conjunction with KitchenAid to share how easy it is to make pasta from scratch at home. So let's get started. First off, you'll want three and a half cups of all-purpose flour that's been sifted. To that, we're gonna add four eggs. We're also gonna add a half teaspoon of salt. And we'll want to add about one to two tablespoons of water to start off with. In all, I found that a quarter cup of, war of water works best. It just depends on where you're located and your humidity factor. So we're going to go ahead and use my handy dandy um, KitchenAid Classic Plus. So we're going to set our kitchen timer to 30 seconds. We're going to hit start and we're going to mix this with the flat paddle attachment for 30 seconds on speed two. It's done. So we'll turn this off. You'll notice it's kind of pretty sticky. That's okay. It's gonna have to now mix with a hook attachment, the dough attachment. So we'll remove that off. Since this has egg in it, definitely wanna wash our hands. Okay, now we're gonna add our dough hook attachment. And we're gonna place that in there, lock our machine. Now this time we're gonna to wanna to set our timer for two minutes. And low speed to start with. All right, our dough's ready. And turn off our timer. Scoot this to the side. And you'll notice it's all one piece. It has a little stickiness to it. That's okay. Rub it with a little flour. And now we're gonna to wanna to knead it for a good minute or two. And you're gonna want kind of, it's gonna kind of be of a leathery texture. And if it's a little sticky, it's okay. Just add the flour to it. I'm just gonna form it into a ball. And I'm gonna place a little plastic wrap over it and let it rest. And you'll definitely wanna make sure this is sealed because you don't want your, do your dough to get all crusty and just let it rest for 20 minutes. So we'll set the timer and go from there. All right, well, our pasta is ready. So we'll just put our timer to the side. Remove our plastic wrap and keep this handy because you're gonna want it once you divide your plastic wrap or your dough. So we're gonna divide this into four pieces. Okay, we're gonna grab our flat pasta attachment Tighten that in there, make sure that the stand is locked. And we have our dough at about half inch. We're gonna sprinkle a little flour in the actual dough roller so that no dough gets stuck in there. And we're gonna put it on the speed two and we're gonna start feeding it through. And you wanna make sure that the dough is, we're, we're trying to get it to be the width of the attachment. So after your first time, you're gonna fold it in half, press it down, and because this is kind of a little wide now, um, I'm gonna actually fold it in half again. I'm gonna feed it through this way. All right, and that was on attachment, or setting one, now we're gonna to move to setting two. You'll notice this is gonna to start to get really long so I have an easy fix for that. We're gonna just cut it in half. So we'll leave this one to the side. We're gonna work on this one. We're gonna move it to setting three. Who knew making pasta at home is this easy? All right, I just moved it to setting four. And because we're making spaghetti today, um, we're, we wanna have it around setting four or five. I found that running it through both settings four and five work best. And look, it's still, it's long again. I just use my arm as a guide. And let's just run it through one more time on setting five. So you wanna make sure you lay it flat. I'm gonna take my other piece of dough. We're gonna go back to setting two. I'm gonna run that through, and I'm actually gonna bump it up to speed four. It just makes the process go a little quicker.
All right, now that we have our pasta rolled out flat, we're gonna go ahead and add the spaghetti attachment. They just kind of click in place just like the other attachment pieces. Tighten it up. We're gonna go on to do a little flower. And now it's time to show you how to make spaghetti. I like to just guide it. Look at this, beautiful strands of spaghetti. And what I wanna do is lay it in like an, a nest like that. All right, now that we have um, made our spaghetti, we're just going to go ahead and cook it for a few minutes. All right, so I have my beautiful nest of spaghetti. I'm going to go ahead and cook them. I'm going to add a little oil to my pasta to help prevent them from sticking. And I'm going to cook them for about three to four minutes until al dente. All right, my spaghetti is ready. I'm just going to go ahead and use tongs and a slotted spoon strainer to remove them. Anytime I'm making um, pasta and I'm making multiple batches, I don't want to have to keep draining the water. This is how I remove it. So look at this. We have homemade pasta Ooh, from scratch. So make sure you join me over at katiescusina.com for this recipe and many more. Bye.